Hello, and welcome to Artwork Archive, the all-in-one platform for institutions to digitize, manage, and showcase their art and artifacts. I'm going to give you a quick overview of where you can find the platform's essential features and how to get the most out of your account. And remember, since Artwork Archive is cloud-based, we are accessible anywhere at any time, meaning you and your colleagues have the tools for intuitive access and effective collaboration. Let's get started. When you log into your Artwork Archive account, you will land on the Pieces page. This will be considered your home base. You can select how you like to view your pieces here. Your options are Tile, List, Spreadsheet, and Slideshow View. From Pieces, you can easily find images and information with Search, Sort, and Filter. Our favorite filter is Status. You can quickly view works that are on loan, in storage, installed, deaccessioned, and more. With access to all of this information at your fingertips, you don't have to worry about forgetting details or losing institutional knowledge with employee turnover. It will all be logged, saved, and accessible here. The best way to get started in Artwork Archive is to upload your artworks first. You can either click New Piece here or use bulk actions to upload up to 20 artworks at a time. We also offer an import service, which is free for all organization accounts. If you're coming from a different system or have your collection in a spreadsheet format, this is a great way to get all of your data into the system as quickly as possible. You can use the import for your contacts as well. To learn more about our import process, simply reach out to our team. We are always happy to help. Now that you have some pieces uploaded into your account, you can begin to add the documents that are relevant to your objects such as bills of sale, certificates of authenticity, professional appraisals, condition reports, installation shots, the list goes on. You can also upload video and audio files like artist interviews. Artwork Archive, despite its name, can be used to catalog a variety of collections. When entering your works into your account, choose from a range of types, including furniture, textile, jewelry, book, and more options. You can create collections of your artworks by theme, group your artworks by style, abstract, portraits, or by time period, ancient art, contemporary. Collections help you organize your objects for easy sharing and reporting. For those hosting on-site and virtual exhibitions, you can create exhibition records here. The exhibitions tool helps you in three ways. You can plan and manage upcoming shows, establish an archive of your past shows, and lastly, you can share your physical or virtual exhibitions with the public via your public profile and website integration options. Another great way to share with others is the private rooms feature. You can curate a private online viewing room and choose what information you wish to share and who you wish to share it with. This feature has some additional elements like favoriting and commenting, which make it great for collaboration, like organizing a loan or coordinating an art selection committee. The locations feature tracks where your art is located, whether that be a storage facility, another building, on loan, and beyond. You can use a sublocation feature for more granularity for things like bins, flat files, hallways, or offices. Enter geo-coordinates if you need to pinpoint specific locations for public art, like murals in an alley or a sculpture in a park. You can quickly move a large group of artworks with Manage Inventory. Moving a dozen artworks to the Student Center, use this tool to quickly transfer the artworks to the new location. If you mark dates for your location, such as the end of an exhibition or the completion of a museum loan, those dates will auto-populate in your schedule, located here. Every Monday, you will receive an email from Artwork Archive with your upcoming events for the week, so you'll never miss an important deadline. Plus, you can sync the reminders to your phone and calendar. Maintenance is an often overlooked aspect of collection management, and this feature was created to simplify the process of protecting and preserving your collection. In addition to being able to schedule upcoming maintenance for specific works, you can also record past maintenance events, as well as all of the associated details so you have a clear picture of the true cost of maintaining your collection. Let's quickly jump into reports. This is where you'll create professional reports of your collection in a variety of formats, such as inventory lists, 
portfolio pages, tear sheets, and QR labels. You can create templates for your most used reports so you can generate them in, in seconds. Once you have created a report, you have the option to share it with your network in a variety of ways. This saves you time by streamlining all of your correspondence. This brings us to contacts. Every time you acquire a new artist, work with a new appraiser, or sell a piece, those contacts are automatically updated for you via the action you took within the database, which could be creating a new work, adding an appraisal, or logging a sale. Clicking into a contact will show you important contact details and everything you've shared with that person, as well as other related information about them, such as bios, affiliated groups, past donations or purchases, and other useful details. Organization accounts come with the Artist Upload tool. You'll save time by letting artists upload artworks directly into your account securely. This is great for organizations with rotating ex exhibits and a highly engaged acquisition strategy. Income is where you can track all of your financials. Let's go through each aspect of the income feature. Under Revenue Expenses, you can track the money coming in and out of your organization. Stay on top of additional revenue like rentals and grants, and know your expenses like framing, shipping, and storage. Sales donations is exactly how it sounds. It's where you log and track your artwork sales and inbound donations. And lastly, you'll save time in admin work by generating invoices directly from your artwork archive account. Insights gives you powerful data analytics that offer a holistic overview of your collection, such as which artists are most represented, the value of your collection based on updated appraisals, and other important details. Finally, My Profile is where you can make your entire collection or parts of it public. With a public profile, make your collection more accessible to the public while showcasing your artists, collections, exhibitions, and mission. We also offer a news page that can be your blog or supplement it. And for those with artworks located across locations, you'll have an interactive map to direct people to your art. Lastly, these can all be embedded onto your website so that your inventory is seamlessly integrated with your institution's web presence. Lastly, we encourage you to check out our resources section, where you will find our Learning Center, located on the left menu. There you will find help docs, video tutorials, and webinars that can really help you get the most out of the platform. And if you can't find what you're looking for or just want to reach out to an actual human, please don't hesitate to contact us with any questions, comments, or recommendations you may have. You can also talk to us directly during normal working hours via this chat icon here. We also offer a more robust and personalized demo for those on the organization plan, so please don't hesitate to request one. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy Artwork Archive.